probably couldn't have picked a, a louder street to film this video on, but uh, it's actually kind of quiet right now, so I'm gonna go ahead and try and film this. But we're gonna be shooting on the Sony a7C today. I'm rocking the 35 millimeter 1.8. I might swap it out for my other two lenses, which I will talk about here in a minute. Uh, but I also picked up this really cool thumb grip uh, for the a7C. I never really appreciated thumb grips until I got one. Uh, if you have an a7C, I highly recommend it because it's actually really nice and helps you grip the camera a lot better. Uh, it adds a nice bit of leverage when you have uh, that grip in the back. So if you don't have one of these thumb grips, I'll link it down below. Uh, I picked it up on Amazon for like 25 bucks. Now it's getting loud back here. But I picked it up on Amazon for like 25 bucks and it's really nice. And if you don't have one, I highly recommend it. But enough of that. Last year, I was kind of going back and forth between using the 35 1.4 G Master and the 35 1.8. I like the G Master, but it's a little big and bulky for the a7C. I really like the 1.8 because it's small, it's got a very nice size, it's not front heavy. Uh, it's kind of perfect for this camera, honestly. Uh, it'd be nice if it had an aperture ring, but what can you do? Uh, maybe one day we will get that. But let me go ahead and show you guys what other lenses I'm going to be shooting with, probably for most of this year. So we have two of the compact primes that were released around the same time as the Sony a7C. I'm not sure if they were specifically meant for the a7C, but it definitely seems like it because they pair pretty amazingly with the camera. But first I have the 24 millimeter 2.8. I've made a video about this lens before. I absolutely love it. So I'm gonna continue using it. And then we also have the 50 millimeter 2.5 uh, G lens, which is also really nice. I also picked up these really cool kind of vintage lens hoods for these lenses and uh, they're really nice and give a very, very cool retro feel to the camera, which is already kind of retro feeling. I will also have those linked down below if you're interested. There's a lot of places in this old town that I really want to photograph, so I'm going to try and snap a photo of this old building here with the dumpster beside it while I can. See if it's an interesting photograph at all. Can get a wide. It's all right, but I think I'm gonna move back and try and get the stop sign in here if I can. Right, I've moved to a new location. I really like this. I think this is just a photo waiting to be taken. I really like this white box truck down here and this uh, old building behind it. I've been really into photographing old, kind of the rundown parts of America, I guess you could say. So I'm gonna try and get it with uh, these birds in this shot. I swear people park stuff like in certain places just for photos to be taken. So I'm gonna try and get a close up shot. That's perfect. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna play around and get a lot of shots around this spot. There's cool things pretty much everywhere around here just waiting to be photographed. It's 
try and get one with this uh, bobcat in here. And of course I have to photograph the silo because it says Winston-Salem and uh, I'm from Winston-Salem. Alright, I think I've photographed enough at this old town. There's one more place I want to hit that's about like 20 minutes away. Actually, but first I see a photo over there I want to try and grab. Then we'll head out to the next town. I love photographing small rural American towns because they have so much more character compared to cities which are often, you know, they might have once felt similar to this but new construction, they're always being remodeled and that's kind of what's happened with Winston-Salem. Why I don't like shooting there as much anymore because all of the old Americana is just being either torn down or remodeled but it's preserved so well in these small towns. But I turned around and saw this old theater here, which is really cool. It looks like it's been kind of remodeled into something, or it might still be a theater, I'm not sure. I noticed while taking photos of the theater, I saw this old sign, which is slanted, which is also something you don't really see in newer towns. I'm actually gonna try and get a little farther back and get a photo of this with the building. All right, this should be good. There we go, that's perfect. Okay, I think now's the time to head out. The sun's starting to go down and I wanna make it to the next town, which is probably about 20 minutes away before it gets completely dark. So I'm gonna hurry and hopefully I can make it there in time. Yeah, I love this old town. It's, uh, it's really nice. Definitely glad I came here. I definitely got some really cool shots. I was on the way to the next town, but then I saw this old gas station. I'm like, oh, I definitely have to stop and get a photo. I haven't gotten a good gas station pick this year. I know I have somewhere to be and I'm on a time crunch, but I just love old gas stations like this. Cash or check only, love that. That's how you know you're kinda in the middle of nowhere. Okay, I definitely need to head out and get to where I'm going now. So we just made it to the town of Madison, a uh, little bit later than I would have wanted, but that's okay. I think it was definitely worth it to get the photos. So as you can probably see this clock tower down here, uh, I was in this town recently and I saw this and I was like, wow, I really need to get a photo of this. So 
That's what I'm here to do. We're gonna throw a filter on since it's starting to get dark. Uh, I'm gonna put on the Glimmer Glass 1, which has become my favorite filter as of recently. I like it a lot more than uh, the Black Pro Mist. So I'm gonna throw this on, snap a photo of this clock tower, and uh, maybe walk around the town, get some night photos, see, uh, see what we find. So I think the best spot to get a photo of this tower is probably from right across the street here. So I think I found the final spot we're gonna to photograph tonight. I found this uh, convenience store on the corner here, with the lights, it looks pretty cool. So I think I'm gonna camp out here a little bit and wait for someone to come in or out of this convenience store. I think it'll be really cool to get a silhouette in between all of the lights. So we're gonna wait and hope that happens soon. Here we go. Let's see if that was the shot. Well, it was definitely a successful day of shooting. My plan for the video was to use all three lenses uh, for the photos, but I was kind of on a time crunch because of the light. So by the time I got done shooting, I hadn't even realized, oh, I forgot to swap out lenses and I used the 35 the whole time. Which is fine, the 35mm 1.8 is definitely my favorite lens to shoot with. But I think in future videos, I will definitely switch it up a little bit and only use the 50 and the 24. I'll go ahead and put my three favorite photos I shot up on the screen. Also, all of the photos in this video are edited with my brand new preset pack that I just released. This preset pack is definitely a natural progression in the way I've been editing my photos recently. I've kind of been leaning in toward a more filmic, nostalgic look to my edits which I think fits in perfectly with the direction I plan on taking my photography in this year, photographing older towns, more rural areas, rather than focusing on big cities. So if you're interested in checking that out, the link is in the description. But thank you for watching the video, guys. I have been excited, I've been waiting to get back out and shoot, and it's nice that the weather is actually starting to warm up a little bit. So expect many more photo walk videos coming in the future. So if you enjoyed this video, please like the video and subscribe to help support me so I can continue growing and reaching a larger audience. And go out and shoot.